everyone welcome to web coding i hope all are doing good today we are going to see about print increasing and decreasing the number with the help of recursion fine okay first i will explain okay our question is print increasing and decreasing if we are having the number if n is equal to 5 okay n is equal to 5 we need to print 5 o oh, 3 2 1 then 1 2 3 4 5 this is a this is our function okay okay we are going to see this first we will see the question statements what is given you are given a positive number n okay we are going to print the count from n to 1 back to n again that means we are going to print n to 1 that is 5 to 1 then again 1 to 5 n again back to n again you are required not to use any loops we are not allowed to use any loops we are going to do it with the help of recursion only okay fine this is our question first first we will see what is our expectation okay first we will see what is our expectation in this we have high level thinking then low level thinking high level thinking consists of an expectation faith when the expectation and the faith meets together fine the low level thinking will be like try code then stack okay we are going to see all these types in this fine first first what is my expectation what is my expectation if we are giving the f of 4 then my solution will be 4 3 2 1 1 2 3 and 4 okay then what is my faith if we have f of 3 it will be like 3 2 1 1 2 3 if my expectation and faith meets fine is it high level thinking low level thinking we can see after the coding part okay Okay, we know that in recursion, we should give the base condition, right? In recursion, we should give the base condition. That is, if we just need to print till uh, 1, we no need to print 0. So, if n double equal to 0, it is going to return the function. If n is not equal to 0, it will going to print n for incrementing. Then, we can call the function. Then we can call the function. Again, we are going to print the value of n. That's it. Let me run this. Yes, it is accepted. We are submitting. We got the correct answer. Let me explain the code. Then you can get the clear idea about this question. this is our function this is our base case we are going to do this we are having the stack fine okay let me check what did happens if we are having the n value as 3 
ओके लेट मी चेक एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री ओके फर्स्ट वी आर पॉजिंग एन वैल्यू एज थ्री इन द फंक्शन इट विल कॉल प्रिंट इन इंक्रीमेंट डिक्रीमेंट ऑफ थ्री we are going to check the base condition whether n is double equal to 0 that is 3 is double equal to 0 no the condition is false if this condition is false then it will print the value n the value of n is 3 my output will be 3 we are going to call the function again print increment decrement of n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 it will be 2 it will be 2 first the value is 3 we can create print increment decrement of n that is we already created the space for 3 now the print increment decrement of n that is 2 right so it can create one space for 2 again we are going to call this function Now the value of n is two. It will check two is double equal to zero. This condition is true or false? This condition is false. If this condition is false, then we are going to print the value of n. The value of n will be two. Again, we are going to call the function print increment decrement of n minus one. Now the value of n is two. Then the two minus one will be one. So now the value of n is one. Fine. Then again, we are going to call this function one. Whether n is double equal to zero, this condition is true or false? This condition is false. If this condition is false, then it will print the value of n. Again, it will go here. Then print increment decrement of one minus one. That is the one minus one will be zero. That is our base condition. Extermination condition zero double equal to zero. If yes, the condition is true. Then it will going to return the values. Return the values of the function. What is the values of the function? Okay, first it will print one. Then it will print two. Then it will print three. That is for this line. Print three. It will be my output. It is my expected output, right? I got the output. It does print increment and decrement operate. Okay. I hope you understand this solution. If you understand this question, stay subscribed to Pip Coding. Have a great day. Thank you for your time.